Hi everyone, welcome to Mala Fitness on IC Digital. My name is Kim and today I'm going to be taking you through a 30 minute BOSU ball workout. It's going to be a nice quick workout, not too many rest breaks. We got five rounds. Each round is going to have two exercises. We're going to superset, that means doing two exercises back to back. We're going to do the two exercises twice, so two sets of superset. You're going to get a 20 second break and then we're going to move on to the next. So in total, 10 exercises. Um, and at the very end, we're going to have a little cardio burst, three exercises, one minute going hard. So I promise you, you will finish with a nice sweat. Um, before we get started, if you look above, we've got the link here for our Patreon page. This is just to a little extra to support myself and the producer of this channel. So if you're liking this channel and the exercises we put out each week, take a look at that and we will get started here in a moment. Um, you don't need much today. Bosa ball, water bottle, maybe a towel, and that is it. So, if you got your Bosa ball ready, let's get ready started with a little warm up in downward facing dog, just to stretch out the back side of the body. Bend those legs one at a time, getting into the calves, hips up to the sky. And as you inhale, let's bring that right leg up, open up your hip. Exhale, step it through. Keep your left palm down, inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, right hand down, sweep that right leg up. Come into your downward facing dog. We're gonna switch to that left leg. Inhale, left leg comes up, open up the hip. Exhale, step the left leg through. Right palm stays down this time. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, down, inhale, left leg comes high, back to your downward facing dog. Let's move through that one more time. As you inhale, right leg comes up, exhale, step it through. Inhale, sweep that right arm up, exhale, down. Right leg comes up and back to your downward facing dog. One more time on the left side, stepping that left leg through, inhale, sweep your right arm up. Exhale down, sweep the left leg high, come into your downward facing dog. Hold that downward facing dog. And we are gonna get started here in 10 seconds. So come out of your downward facing dog. First thing we're gonna do here Three, is two, one. mountain climber with a push up. So, right knee to the right elbow. Left knee to the left elbow, push up. We got one minute here, and then we're gonna move into our next exercise, which is gonna be bridge. We're gonna do single leg bridges here. If the push up is too much, maybe you just hold this mountain climber, like this. Maybe you do a push-up for one round, two rounds of mountain climbers, and then a push-up. You could always drop down to your knees for your push-up like this. We got two rounds of this. So find where you're at today. Three, two, one more push-up. Five second rest here. Three, Turn this two, around so the ball is up on your back. We're gonna start with left leg up, pushing through the heel of that left leg as the right heel reaches up to the sky. We're gonna do 30 seconds on this left, left leg. At the halfway mark, we're switching over to the right. Switch to the right, right leg down, left leg up. Try to drive through that right heel to engage your right glute. Core is tight here to help with your stability. Roll over, get back up. Three, Quick two, transition, let's one, turn the ghost ball back down. Moving into your mountain climbers with a push up. 
Last round of these. Then you get your 20 second break before we move into our next superset. We only got 30 minutes today. So let's work hard. Remember, you can always drop down to your knees for that push-up if you need. Last 10 seconds. We could get at least one more and push right to the end. Three, two, one, rest. Turn the BOSU ball over. Three, get ready two. with that left leg on the BOSU ball. Single leg bridge. Right leg up to the sky. Driving through your left heel to lift those hips up. Halfway mark, we're switching to the right. Halfway there. Right leg down, left leg up. Ten more seconds and we get a 20 second break. Three, two, one, rest. 20 second break. Let's keep the BOSU ball here. Grab a drink of water if you need. If you're liking this channel, you could subscribe. We have new classes coming out every week. Sunday night, Monday morning, depending where you are in the world. And if you like the class, please give us a thumbs up. Comments below, always welcome. I'd love to hear your feedback and what you guys are wanting more. Let's get ready for these shoulder taps. Ball is up, alternating here. Holding that plank position, left arm to right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder. If this is too much in a full plank, drop down to the knees, tuck the tailbone in, same thing. Maybe you do half of the one minute here and half up in the full plank. Halfway there. Try to shift your weight so that the shoulders are stacked on top of the wrists. It's going to help a little with stability. From here, we're going to move into a lunge, standing up, right leg onto the BOSU ball, lunging here, 30 seconds with the right leg forward, then we're going to switch to the left. Personally, I find having the foot up on the BOSU ball here challenges your balance a little more than the opposite of having your foot onto the ground. But for each person, it might be different. Core is tight here to help with your stability. Halfway there. Switch it, left leg on top, right leg back, dropping straight down. Left knee is stacked on top of the ankle. And in 10 seconds, we're moving right back to our shoulder tap. We'll get a five second break and then we're gonna move back into the shoulder taps. Three, two, one. Stand rest. all the way up. Three, Maybe shake it out. Let's two, step back down one, into our shoulder taps. Remember, you could drop down to your knees if you need.
We're at our halfway point. Stay with me. Stay with your breath. Keep that core tight. Shoulders out of the ears. Relax them down your back. Last 15 seconds. Then we're moving right back into that lunge. Right leg first on top. Three, two, one. Step it up. Rest. Let's get ready. Three, right leg on top. Two, Left one, leg back. Go. Dropping straight down. And if you lose your balance and fall off, that's okay. We're close to the ground. At the halfway point, left leg on top. Halfway there. Switch it out. Remembering to come straight down, avoiding that knee over the toe to prevent any injuries. Three, 20 two, second rest here. One, rest. Grab some water if you need. Actually, I lied, it's a 25 second rest, giving you an extra five seconds. From here, we're gonna move into our night hawk. So a side plank, reaching under. We're gonna start with the right hand down in 10 seconds. So if you wanna get ready, you have two options. You can do it from the palm, might be a little harder on the wrist, or drop down onto the forearm. Left arm up, sweep it under. At the halfway mark, we're gonna switch to the other side. I normally don't like my back to you guys, but just to make it an easier transition, I will turn my back to you just for this one. Halfway there. All right, turn it around. Left arm up, or left arm down, right arm up. Sweeping that right arm underneath you as if you're trying to give yourself a hug. Engage the right obliques, or left obliques, the bottom side, as you twist and reach underneath. Three, two, one, rest. From here, we're gonna do a lateral lunge. Right leg is gonna be on top, shifting your weight into that right leg. At the halfway point, we're gonna bounce right over that BOSU ball and get into the left. Chest is up here as you come down and slide your booty back, pressing through the right heel here. Halfway there. Switching to the other side, left leg on top. So you should be feeling a bit of a burn into this left glute this time. Keep your chest up, shoulders down your back. Three, two, one. Right away, we're gonna get, move into Three, our neck hop. Resting on your palm or your forearm. This time I'm gonna go with the palm. If this is too much here, you can drop down to the knees and still reach underneath. So find where you are today. You could always build up to your full plank. I always say it's quality over, or yeah, quality over quantity. So if you notice the ears, shoulders are creeping up in your ears, switch sides, maybe drop down to the knees.
Big reach here like you're giving yourself a hug once again. Get up onto your feet. We're gonna move into that lateral lunge. Right leg on top, or on top first, sinking into that right glute. Pressing through the right heel to stand up. At the halfway, we're switching over to the left side. Jumping over to the left side, right away. In, bending into this left leg, pressing through that left heel. We're over halfway done our workout. We got two more rounds after this. Stay with me. Keep pushing through. You guys got this. I know you're strong. 25 second rest. Flip the Bosu ball around just to get ready for our next one. I'll demonstrate this next one while you're in your rest. We're going to come into a plank, jump into a frog squat, come up, anterior raise, back down, jump into a plank. So everybody, let's get ready. Meeting here in a plank and start. If you pick up the pace, you're going to get that heart rate up. So stay low in your squat as you land. Halfway there. And also staying low in your squat as you raise the Bosu ball up to work those shoulders. Ten more seconds here. Three, two, one. Rest. Drop to your knees for your ten sec or five seconds. One. Come onto your forearms. We got forearm rockers. Rocking the Bosu back, Bosu ball forward and back as you hold your plank. If you need to, drop down to your knees. Continue rocking back and forth. At our halfway point, we're gonna change the direction to side to side. In three, two, one. Rock side to side now. Getting into those obliques a little more. Remember, you could drop down to the knees. Try to have your elbows underneath the shoulders. It's gonna help with your support, help with your alignment. down to your knees, right away into that plank, jump into your frog squat, anterior raise as you hold that squat. Keep pushing. Stay with me. You guys got this. Push it right till the very end. Last 15 seconds here. down to your knees for these five seconds. Get ready for your forearm walkers. First, back and forth. 
forward and back. Remember, you could drop to the knees, keep rocking, forward and back. Five more seconds till we move it side to side, right to left. Halfway there. Start the rocking side to side. Hope you feel a little burn in those abs, getting into the obliques. 15 more seconds. you guys I know that's not an easy one take your rest we're on to our last round here we're gonna start with a lunge with the twist I'll demonstrate as you're resting we'll start with the left leg forward twist to the left step it back so we're gonna stay on one side for 30 seconds and then switch just to burn out that side so let's start with the left twist Getting into the legs, a little bit more into the core. Knee is stacked on top of the ankle for that front leg. One more here and then we're gonna switch to the right side. Moving to the right, right leg forward. Twisting to the right. Ten more seconds here. Can you get in one more? Push it right to the end. Three, two, one. Rest. Drop the ball down, ball Three, side up. Two, We're going to move one. back into our plank. Walking our hands to the left, over the Bosu ball, to the right. Walking plank here. If you want, you can walk to the side, push up, come back over, push up. Pick your boys in here. This is our last round. If you want to do the push-up, you can always drop down to your knees as well. Come back up into your plank. Walk over. Drop down to the knees. Push up. So we got options. Just keep moving here with me. Ten more seconds. Let's get one more in. Come back into standing, Three, two, grab your rosy ball, go. stepping forward with the left, twist to the left, step that left foot back. One more here on your left side before we switch over to the right. Well, maybe we'll get one more in. Halfway there. All right, let's switch to the right side now. Final 10 seconds here. Drop your Bosu ball down, ball side up. Walking plank with or without the push up. Let's start over to the left first. Hands off the Bosu ball. Maybe a push up, maybe not. Maybe a push up from the knees. Back into your plank. Maybe you just walk back and forth.
This is our last strengthening exercise with the BOSU ball. So let's push it right to the end here. Last 25 seconds, but there is a cardio burst, as I promised. We're gonna finish with a sweat. All right, take your 20 second break. We have three more exercises each. One minute. First, we got one minute attacks. Then we're gonna move into one minute of sumo squats. And then our last minute is gonna be mountain climbers. And we're done. We got three minutes of hard work. Let's go in 10 seconds. Starting with the taps. Three, and three two, two, one. Just alternating. Keep your chest up. There'll be a quick five second break between each of these three exercises. If the bouncing back and forth is too much for you, quick steps. Less impact, but keep on going. I want that heart rate up. stretch in here. We'll do it from standing today. As you inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Let your head and neck hang heavy here. Maybe slight bend in the knees. If there's any tension in the hamstrings, lower back, just sway here from side to side. And as you inhale, 
come up halfway, bring your feet apart, more into a straddle, and then turn your toes to the right, drop down to that left knee, inhale, sweep the arms up, getting into that left hip flexor, and then bend your right elbow to get into your right tricep. Bring the arms down, straighten the legs, come back into your straddle fold. Hang out here for two breaths. And then walk over toward your left foot. Drop that right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time getting into your right hip, hip flexor. Bend that left elbow, getting into the left tricep. Bring the arms down. Come back into your forward fold. Heel toe your feet together. And as you inhale, roll up slowly. One vertebrae at a time. Let's just stretch out our quads a little bit more, bouncing onto that left leg. Grab for your right foot. And I know the knee wants to splay out. Try pull that knee in so it's right tucked next to that left knee. If you need to hold onto a chair or something to help with your balance, do that. Drop that right leg. Switch it over to the left. And bring that left leg down. Good work, you guys. If you like this workout, please give me a thumbs up. Look forward to putting on another video for you guys next week. You take care.